Welcome back to another Inside Marketing. We are at the Business Show 2022, day two, and it seems there's a lot of talk about SEO as I wander around the hall, uh, which is how I found myself at the Angora Media Stand to talk about the current trends in SEO with the owner himself, Mr. Mark Ginsberg. Welcome to the show. So firstly, I'm not the owner. Director of, oh. Pro Director of Professional Services. Director um, of Professional Services, Mark Ginsberg. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so I run an international SEO team out of Tel Aviv. We're Angora Media. We're a digital marketing agency that specializes in technical SEO, um, helping businesses grow and, and develop both organically. And we also have a whole team that deals with paid advertising. So Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Google, B2B, B2C. We work with businesses of all sizes, tech startups and clients who are, who are looking to grow their business, some unicorns and massive companies. And we also have your smaller businesses who are looking to grow and gain more exposure. Awesome. So one of the things that got me talking to you guys is we're living in a very changing world of websites and media. And one of the big things is SEO back in the day was always exclusively about text. One way or another, it was about the copy on your website. But as the push is more and more, yeah, the, the phrase I'm hearing over and over again, video content is king now. And if that's the case, what are the big mistakes people are making at the moment in SEO? And what are the big trends and solutions that people should be looking at? So I, I'd say a larger issue moving beyond the medium of video is making content for users, making content for people. People have gotten so caught up in the algorithms and the search engines yes. that they, that they I have been building content for the search engines and not for users. Google came out with a helpful content update a little while ago, which basically content that was being created for bots and for users that it was just auto-generated content and Google smacked that down. Video content, what people often do is they'll wait three minutes to get to their point of their video. And as you know from video channels, people have, on YouTube have attention spans of five yeah. to 10 seconds. So I know I've been wandering around for a while already in this answer, but you need to get to the point very quickly. And if you don't, you're gonna lose your audience. There's the technical aspects of video SEO in terms of making sure that it's embedded properly on your website with using the right schema markup so that way the search engines can understand it. Because search engines, even though they've gotten smarter and Google are incredibly smart and good at what they do, they still don't understand video. So you have to use signals around the videos so that way Google can understand with a, a descriptive title and the relevant keywords in your description and making sure that it's embedded properly. But the goal of the page is that it has to be more dynamic and engaging. You don't want just straight up text and you don't want just images or video. You want a combination. You want to build the greatest page, page on the internet around a particular topic in order to rank well. People come to us and say, why isn't my page ranking? And I say, because it's a terrible website and it's a <laughs> terrible page. You need to build a page and a website that's engaging, that answers the questions of the users, and would be, you'd be, it's something that you'd be proud of to have on a billboard. Look at me, I've built the greatest page on the topic of video marketing. This is why you should be ranking. Yeah, and I think it's the why that, that people are struggling with. I think you, you hit on a very good point that it was very much back in the earlier days. It, it seemed very much about trying to play the game and beat the game. And the whole point of the game from Google's perspective was trying to stop people playing the game because we want to get people to the best thing for them, not the best thing for the business's advertising. Exactly. Google is a answer machine. And Google relies on the trust of the users to find the correct and best results because people assume that that which shows up at the top of Google results is authoritative. So Google really wants to show you the best results so that you'll trust Google and keep going back to Google. And then they can also show you ads and make money and yeah. build self-driving cars. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, they're a money-making machine. But they need the trust of the users to rely on search results. And that's why they, they spend so much time trying to fight against search spam and, and around trying to remove terrible results from the search engines yeah. because they want to maintain the trust of the users. And so it's important as businesses how you put your best foot forward. We deal a lot with technical SEO where websites are built from a development standpoint and developers say, oh, the website works, but Google can't read that. Yeah. Either they're built in JavaScript or they're built in, in a way that they're inline images or it, it really depends. There's a million different ways. Or back in the day, Flash. Flash or, <laughs> or iframes. Like Google has gotten better at interpreting these All things. Frames. But <laughs> you have to still make sure from a technical standpoint that your website is crawlable. 
people say, why aren't I ranking for this content? This is what my business does. And I say to them, you didn't write this on your website. You know that this is what your content is, but you don't have those terms on your page. So you still need the technical content. You still need the technical setup, but it's moved beyond that also to the user experience and to the creating a positive user, user journey on your website. And Absolutely. that's what we help clients do. Excellent. Well, so obviously the website is one thing. But one of the discussions I was getting into with your colleague just before is that the number two search engine is YouTube. YouTube. Uh, so while it's important to make sure that your website is performing as it should do, you should be making media content. You should almost certainly be putting it in YouTube. Yeah. In which case, what are some of the key tips that you would recommend to people for YouTube specifically? So firstly, just, just hit record, just start. Right? It's hard to put yourself out there. It's hard to, you know, I've tried multiple times creating my own content. It's hard, it's tough, it's a challenge for, for business owners who are, who are busy dealing with a million different things keeping their business afloat to sit in front of a camera and start recording themselves without having a conversation with someone else. It's, it's hard to do. Oh yeah. So the first thing to do, you know, Casey Neistat and all the other massive YouTube creators, they all look back when they watch their first videos. I mean, Casey was a professional video maker, but they all look back and they say, wow, the, the original content I made was terrible. Oh yeah. Like, and you you get better over time, and like you, you got to just get started on on the content creation side of things. As I always say to people on that, wouldn't it be worse if the opposite was true? Imagine if you looked at your first videos and thought, "Wow, I never got better than that." <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you know, get started, have a plan, and and have a goal of what what you want your channel to be about and what you're what you're engaged what your what what's your goal of your business, right? If you're if you're if you're trying to reach particular target audience have in mind what that target audience wants to watch and you know they don't necessarily want to watch a daily vlog of you getting up in the morning and brushing your teeth at the beginning of the day they want to hear you talking about your expertise and your level of business and and business owners are experts in their fields talk about your business make sure you know what it is that you want to get to and you know keep it short and vary the medium vary the style of the videos informational videos some I mean you guys can talk more on the content creation side of things but for us it's it's a matter of making sure that you have the relevant keyword research in there to know what people are searching and incorporate that in the title incorporate that in the description make sure that you're using auto generated captions and op and actually correcting the captions to make sure that they're that they're that they're reflecting what it is that you're saying because the search engines rely on these textual insights into what the video is about because they're not analyzing the video Absolutely. They, need, they need the signals around the video I wonder though how long that's going to last given that we now have auto generated subtitles and things like right. that so they you have the auto generated subtitles but the way Google works and Google search in general works is they have to index everything and yeah. they have to analyze your content it's with the website and with the video and it's much easier for them to search through text than it is for them to once they've processed the video to then go search through automated video. I don't think they're at that stage yet. No, they might be getting there. Friends of mine who work in Google and are on the AI teams, like this is what they're doing, but they're really in, at the stage now of AI. They're not there yet. Oh, definitely not. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's struggling enough just to deal with a getting the voices right at all, getting the, the, the transcription correct, and b I know they're trying to do a lot with like um, auto chapter marking and stuff exactly. like that. And that is, it's not working it's, yet. It's a challenge. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about that because it was always going to be a work in progress. It's going to take time to get there. But I certainly think that's where it will head eventually. So in theory, uh, your content will be even more important and being useful will be even more important. And, and Google also is trying to work in 200 different languages. So that I mean, too. that's, I mean, it's, it's. God, it's we haven't even touched on it's, like, it's, multilingual it's, it's content. Amazing, it's amazing what they're trying to do. But look, I mean, YouTube is, is a massive opportunity for businesses. It's a massive place for, for individuals. And then you also have the explosion of short reel type of content, whether it's on YouTube shorts or whether it's on Facebook reels or whether at Facebook slash Instagram or whether it's TikTok. I mean, those areas are exploding. And I, you know, I watch TikToks about Excel videos and X lookups and data combinations. And, <laughs> and people say, how can I use TikTok for business? And the, the companies who, who figure out how to use TikTok for business are gonna be the ones to succeed in 2023 and moving on. There you go. That's, I think that's some brilliant advice. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we're doing that. Uh, I guess we'll find out next year. But anyway, it's been absolutely fascinating talking to you. Thank you so much for taking the time out. If people want to find out more about Angora Media and maybe get some SEO consulting of their own, um, that's a good opportunity for a bit of a plug. Yeah, you can check us out on angoramedia.com. Um, we'll have a link somewhere in the description yeah, or of course. On, on the video. And 
We've also put together a trends report for 2023 with what are the latest marketing trends that we're seeing. Also video, TikTok, and, and the explosion. I literally of, downloaded of that just reels. before we started here. I will be reading it on the way Great. home. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a 30 page report we put together and we're happy to have a conversation. Hit me up on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Happy to chat. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you all you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, make sure to follow these guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>